morning guys welcome back to today's video i don't know what is wrong with this camera it's so dark sylvie is letting all the chickens out because today the last of our roosters are going to their new home Sam and sophie are getting all the roosters ready the last four are going to their new home there goes one ow there you go oh i love the crate that you bought Sam bought a new crate the other day, designed just for carrying our animals, our chickens, where they need to go. Another gorgeous boy. Open that one. Yep. Put in the same one. Yep. All right. So there's two. I think there's four. Two more. We're getting rid of two more. Yeah, I only got four boxes, so let's just get rid of four today and see how it goes. Let me just look and make sure he's a rooster. Yeah. Those are some saddle feathers. Goodbye, boys. We loved you. A lot of boys. We loved taking care of you. We're proud of you. Go out into the world and get a flock of your own and do good things. Yeah, let them all out now. So this, so we have this boy still, <laughs> and he's cute. And then we have this boy, and I wanted to get rid of both. I wanted to get rid of him because I don't want two roosters now because these guys are both very active. But they're buddies. The, but they're best friends they, love each other. They, stick together. they are best friends but the problem is is that one will mate a girl and then the other one will attack the one mating and they'll hit he'll grab her off so then he's trying to hold on and then they're hurting our girl's backs so i don't want them to be like so competitive i don't want two roosters that are so competitive but also one will chase down a girl to breed her and then the other one will like they'll do a sneak attack they gang up on the girls together but i'm keeping him because he's my baby but sophie wants to keep this one because he's her favorite penguin and he's my favorite so another week we get to keep him hi guys it's sam and sophie at the sales barn and we're here at 10:01 a.m to get our spot uh nobody's here a few moments later I'm so disappointed. No vendors are set up. It's a crappy rainy day and it's not raining. So we've been here an hour waiting. See what animals are in there right now. I mean, we did see some goats, but they're big goats. So we're just gonna check it out and see what's there. That's a mama pig. That's a big pig. Two mama pigs. They're huge. Hopefully uh, these won't be what we're getting. Luckily we'll go for the mini. These guys will kill you for sure. They're so huge. They would eat you alive. Hey sheep, lots of sheep, lots of sheep. More sheep. And we got goats. We got lots of goats. Lots of goats. More goats. Goats are friendly. Friendly goats? Found some friendly goats. Yeah. Hey there guys, what you guys doing? Can't come to our house, we have too many goats. And just like that is pouring rain again. Oh, Peggy. <laughs> I love how she swerves. Just in case a hawk comes down and tries to grab her. No hawk on earth would be able to pick her up though. She is a solid little thing. She can still fit, but just barely. It's funny how like, whew, it's, it's- I tripped today. You tripped? Yeah. Why, what happened? I tripped over my own feet. Yeah, that's a, it's a Sophie thing. I've been tripping a lot today. But it's funny how like, when you're just a regular person and out there living your life and it rains every day for months, you're like, I hate the rain. But when you're a farmer and you need your pastures to grow and it rains every day for a month, you're like, yeah, it's raining. Hi boys. Hi. I feel like my camera's on the way out because it gets dark when it shouldn't. But anyways, uh, it is hay day. Oh, I should sweep up all this. Hi. <laughs> Cricket is Lola's baby. Yeah, Cricket and Lola are so close. She was just chewing on her collar. Come here, milk. Come here, milk. <laughs> okay, so we have a mocha on the stand. If you guys saw, the brown boys turned eight weeks old today, so they are sent over to the boy field. I'm gonna give you more grain. Somebody broke in. 
So her babies have been outside this whole entire time this morning and her udder is massive. I've actually noticed a trend. Hey, hey. Hey, your dog under control. Ellie. I've actually noticed a trend. Stay, Ellie. Stay. Goat. I've actually noticed a trend where our goats are okay with the babies being lean and separated from them until their bag starts to fill up. Once that happens, they start trying to get through to their babies because their brain and their udder is telling them like, I need to feed you. So today I'm gonna milk Mocha for the very first time and I have a feeling it's not gonna go beautifully. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Pray for me guys, I'll show you how much milk I get all right, so the latest installment is I need to get a new light bulb for that doll, but I'll put a new light in here and now it's all nice and bright. Look how bright it is. My entire body hurts from milking. That goat practically sat on my side and I was trying to hold her up the whole time. My arm is killing me. Milking is like a job. It's like work. It's hard. Anyway, I didn't get as much milk from her as I did from as I do from Blossom, but I think it's because she was fighting the whole entire time and wanted nothing to do with me milking her. So our little stall here. I love it. Sam put a light in there for me. Like, isn't that so kind? I'm so grateful for him. It's all set up. It's for Rosie and she will be having her baby soon. This is a perfect size stall. I saw somebody say it was way too small. This is about average for a birth for a kidding stall. So this room is still pretty dark and it's full of all the stuff that I don't need. So I'm gonna have to get Sam to take that up, up to the top of the barn next time he's down here so that it's nice and clean in here. The brown boys are doing pretty well. Winston's happy to have them. He finally has friends again. Come here, babies. They're sitting over there with their mama. Their mama, who is horrible to milk. Aha, baby. Come here. They're sitting over there trying to get to only just take a couple of days before they realize that they're over here to stay. Every time we move somebody, the whole herd isn't happy. Everybody's sad and depressed and just things aren't as good as they were yesterday. Every time we move somebody over, it takes so much time for everybody to get used to it. But Winston was so happy. <laughs> he has friends. Friends his own age, huh? <laughs> he just wants to sit on my lap. <laughs> You're so cute. Come on. I know, you need a hug. It's okay. Ellie's like, I'm watching you. Come here, baby. Who can name which goat this is? We have two baby brown boys. One is named Harley and one is named Hershey. Which guy is this? I'll give you a close up on him. Which one is this? That's Winston chewing. <laughs> chewing in his cud behind the camera. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm just sitting out here chilling with the animals and I'm just listening, I hear like the guinea fowl making so much noise. I hear the goats baying like crazy. I hear the horse, I hear penny squealing, always penny squealing. I hear so much noise. And then I always think like, this would destroy somebody <laughs> that's not used to that kind of stuff. But I grew up in a big, huge family, like a huge family. It was chaos all the time. And I got used to that and I actually love chaos. If it's not chaotic, it just, I feel like something's missing. I feel worried, I feel nervous, like I need to look around. But as long as I can hear the noise and be out there with all the activity, then everything feels right in my world. But for people who are like only children or raised in a quiet household, they might not feel the same way, <laughs> but fortunately I love it. Also, when we moved from our little farm to this farm, when we lived at the little farm, there wasn't room for anything there. And I always felt like it was manageable. It was at the right level for me. I didn't really want to have any more, even though when we first wanted to get a farm, I really wanted to have goats and horses and chickens. 
Now that we've added all these animals, I saw a comment the other day that said, you're gonna get burnt out. And the truth is, this is what like fuels me. This is what gives me energy and excitement. Like I wake up in the morning, my legs are already starting to um, move around in the bed and I'm so excited. I can't wait to come down and milk and it's just so peaceful in the morning. I don't know, it, this is what fuels me and gives me energy, but I know for other people it's different. Gabby likes quiet. That's what fuels her. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I got one boy chewing the camera and one boy coming up behind me. Well, my sister was here today with a bunch of her family. She has grandkids are in town. Both her and I, our grandkids all live out of town. Anyway, they wanted to come and see the goats. And so we spent the afternoon with them. And Posy Pig was so awful. I brought her down, All the, everybody loves her. But she honestly can get out of any place. Like. She roams this farm like she owns it. At one point she even got out on the road and I was freaking out because I need to keep her safe. So she spent the last two hours whoa, in a stall. <laughs> I gave her a bunch of water. Looks like she drank some. Looks like she's been nosing around in there. It's warm enough. It's warm enough. Oh, she made a little bed. Oh my goodness. Actually, it looks like she made a couple beds. Oh, you guys can't see. She wants out though. She's like, take me home. Did you miss us? This is where you live. This is where you're going to live. This is the birthing stall at night, you guys. We have one week exactly. Next Tuesday, Rosie is due. This is how much milk I got from Mocha today. It was only about four hours after she'd been with her boys, so... Oh my goodness, look. She thinks that this is her house now. <laughs> she made a little bed to stay warm. Isn't it so cute? So the girls are eating baby food. <laughs> this has the texture of banana. Does it taste good? It tastes like banana. I don't like the squash. So. <laughs> okay, uh, all these suck. All these suck? <laughs> the worst one. Yeah. I got apple, carrot, butternut squash. Just I love those. Apple or mango. Oh. Just like, you got like apple and mango? Not even spinach. I love apple and mango. Oh, you guys. No. Today was rough. No. So, my friend gives, oh, crap. Gives her horses these as treats. See. She's doing it? Yeah, you just shove it in their mouth. Okay, let's see Storm. Storm's like, I know something good's happening. Okay, oh, he smells mine. Storm's picky. He won't eat it from that. And he's also really Oh, picky. wait, he might. Well, it's on his lip. All right, we'll try again. All right, let's try the other ponies. No, He's like, it. nope. He's picky. You know, Willow eat it. Willow likes it. She does. This one will. She's eating it. Oh. You know, I don't know if anyone likes it. She said she, she, oh my gosh. She does not understand it. Yeah, no, she bit it. <laughs> she bit it. Come here, Pen. Look, look. She ate it. Penny will eat it too. Okay, yours is not the consistency of water. Like, that's oh the gosh, she like ripped it out of my hand. Mom, I think Honey likes it. Honey likes it? I feel like I can't decide. She's you not sure. Let's try that one. Okay, here we'll try. She does not like it. Oh, she, does, she wants me to give it to her. Oh, she shoved it up her nose. Come on. See? Shh. Yeah, that's a girl. You gotta, oh crap, it's dripping all over. She likes it though. She, she's trying to bite it. She doesn't know that you have to suck it. You are supposed to squeeze it. I'm trying. She's, Here, Penny, have mine. I'm better look, she will only eat it for me. Isn't that funny? Well, she likes me. butternut squash. <laughs> better than banana. You like it? She loves it. She's she like. Some of it, the other half is like right there. Did you like that one? Mm, it's actually good. I might start eating baby food. It's so good. 
Well, I had some on my finger, so I tasted it. <laughs> she's like, I'm done with it. It's too messy. She's not sure if she's done with it. Does Storm like it? No. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Leave it there. He'll lick it off. If that was Chino in this stall, he'd... <laughs> he won't lick it. No, he just smelled it and was like, ew, gross. Willow. Where's my pig? Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't give them too much because <laughs> we'll put it in the fridge. The carrot one you got? Yeah, apple carrot. She likes the banana one too. She like any of them. Yeah. Well, She's a pretty picky. Look, so we have to your pitchfork. Oh wow. This is the um, broom handle I got in the dollar store. Oh, that's what you got it it's for? The metal, it's the metal. Uh, I think it's plastic or metal. She's waiting for me to <laughs> I know. Her. She's like, let's do that again. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?